Hi, good morning, guys. Um, I decided to do a quick video before my virtual interview today, which is at 1030, which is soon. Um, with what I have on my face, I didn't do my entire face. I'm wearing the Fashion Fear Mellow Mocha. I recently purchased this. This is really nice. Um, so I just used my brush and I just dabbed it like here, like this, here. So it's not like I, I mean, you could use the stick all around, but I don't need full coverage like that. So I just put it in these areas here and then I'll put a little bit on my neck there. And I'm going for a natural look for this interview. And this is the shirt I am wearing. So, uh, and um, the lipstick I'm wearing is by Bite Beauty. It's called Extra Sugar Buns. Actually, let me put a little bit more. And for my eye look, I'm keeping an eye on the time. I'm going to be wearing a look from the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Palette. So I'm going to do a look with Seduce Glow, which is this here. So first, I'm going to use one of my Wayne Goss brushes. I'm going to dip into this one here because, of course, I'm going for a neutral look for this interview. Oh, I forgot to put eye primer on my eyes. Lord, Lord, Lord. I'll be back. Let me prime my eyes. I'm back. So I primed my eyes. So now I'm dipping into that brown shimmer. I'm going to put it all over my lid. Actually, I'm going to change my brush. I need a, a slightly denser brush. So let me see. I think... I'll just use this other one by Wayne Gloss. I'm just changing my brush. This is a quick eye look, very quick eye look. So this is my, so that's the first shade. Now I'm just going to dip into this brown mat here and put it in my outer corner. Oh, actually I'm using the wrong brush. Let me use the other one. I'm just going to like smoke it out. And then I'm going to use this, the, another brush, and I'm just going to pop this sh um, shimmer in the, in the corner. And I'm going to use my Pat McGrath black liner, actually. I'm going to try to see if I can do like a, um, a, a, a small winged eyeliner look. I'm going to use my Clinique eyeliner.
And then now I'm going to use my Pat McGrath eyeliner in black and just put on my waterline and tight lining. I don't know, this eye's a little watery. This eye always tends to get like more watery, watery than my other eye. I don't know why, but that just tends to be the case. Um, so for, then I'm gonna prime my eyes. I love using this L'Oreal. Um, what is this called? L'Oreal Volume Voluminous Voluminous Mascara Primer. Just to help bring out my eyelashes more. I typically would use Tarte, but you know what? I'm trying to save as much money as possible, and I don't feel, um, unless it's on sale, I'm not going to be investing in high-end brands when it comes to mascara primer. I, that's just a personal choice I've made, um, unless it's on sale. I think right now, the Lacombe mis uh, mascara primer is on sale. I think it's an Ulta Beauty, which I will be going there after my interview. I think it is. If it is, I might get it. I'm not sure. But this primer works just as nicely. And this is by L'Oreal. So now I'm going to take my Pat McGrath mascara. This is the Fetish Eyes. I like this mascara. It's a little clumpy, but I, it works. This is not the best mascara I've had. Um, the Wayne Goss mascara is nice, as well as my Hourglass, but it's just so expensive, man. <laughs> um, I prefer the Hourglass and the Wayne Goss and even the Lacombe one over this Pat McGrath one, but it's not bad. Um, let me just go over this a little bit more. Oh, you can see my lashes. Um, it gets the job done to my satisfaction. Um, I'm going to put this. like 10 13 right now i have time my interviews at 10 30. i have not had a virtual interview in a while it's been like um whew, i don't remember the last time i had a virtual interview it's just been a while that's for sure because i've been working at the job i'm at for quite some time working from home but i'm so tired of working from home and it has created an imbalance within my home life i am a single mom raising a child and it's it's really hard to be honest it's quite easier for me when i work outside the home and i, and I do have um i am able to set up child care if i were to work outside the home and when i have before the pandemic started it was just so much better for me I have this mascara guys is because 
um, during that Pat McGrath Black Friday sale where it was like 35% off if you spent a certain amount, 25% off if you spent a certain amount, I got, um, I forgot what I've, I got like, like a whole bunch of lip kits and stuff and I got a mothership palette. Actually, I bought the mothership palette one during that sale and the one, the package I got, it came with this. So that's the only reason I'm using this. I'm like, hey, let me use it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it came as part of a package. Like, I typically have never been a fan of Pat McGrath Miscavas because there's better out there. But, I mean, it gets the job done. Like, my eyelashes are standing out. I think it's more so because of the primer, to be honest. I mean, of course, the combination with the mascara is not bad, but I'm just saying. So, I'm going to lightly... Um... Where's my brush? Like highlight under my eyes. I'm going to use. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. I have the mini size of translucent. Kind of like brighten here. Under here too. I broke out here. That little pimple there. Little pimple there. That's a stress. It's gonna go away though. It tends to go away. But that's stress related because sometimes I get stress related breakouts. And then I'm just gonna put some middle of my head right there. Middle of my forehead. <sighs> just to brighten up the eye area a bit so I won't look so sleepy. I have woke up early to do some laundry and not too long ago I came back then I'm going to take the trans, not the translucent this is the medium deep shade um, Laura Mercier powder I recently got this I usually get the big one but look sister's trying to save money right now holidays are up okay unless it's on sale for a good price I ain't getting no full size of certain things especially um, what is this? Press powder? Not press powder. Loose setting powder. So I set my face. Now I'm going to take my Juvia's Place because I must say I do like this Juvia's Place bronzer. This is in the deepest shade. Dark, deep, dark, deep, dark. Um, let me just fix something real quick here. Okay. I am going to first take my Wayne Goss. This is from the artist collection i got this this is a small brush just for contouring my nose just to contour my nose a little bit and then i'm going to take I have another wing brush that I'm trying to find. This is, uh, well, actually, no. I'll use my contour brush. I'm going to dip into this deeper thing and contour here. You see how nice that is? It's very nice. I 
now I'm going to take one of my Sonia G brushes. This is um, the mini base. I'm going to dip into this and use it as a bronzer. I know some people only tend to use bronzers when it's warm or it's the summertime. Not me. I have a big forehead. And at times, I just want to give the illusion that I have a smaller forehead. And I like the way a warm look a warm um i like having a warm sun kiss look as well my interview is about to start soon but i'll put some here uh, highlighter highlighter is this one of my highlighters no that's one of my blushes all right, hold on. Okay, so I put a, a slight, a little highlighter here and here. This is from the Pat McGrath um, Luna New palette. Real quick, let me show this to you guys. I love this um, highlighter. I'll put it, try this. I'm gonna use this blush, the same one I used yesterday. First, I'm gonna use this and dip into this. Oh, I'm gonna dip them too strongly, but let's see. my cheekbones pop and then i'm gonna dip into that shimmer that i mentioned in my other video this one called feliz this might be too much let me see i'm gonna blend out my fingers but just so you guys see Oof. you see how pigmented that is i'm so glad to get heavy handed but then i blend it nicely this really helped my cheekbones pop boy I am loving this. I'm just putting some more of Sonrisa here to kind of like tone it down a little bit. I'm going to use my fingers to blend it. This is definitely good like for like sculpting your face. Like seriously. And then with my contour here. Okay, so I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna do my hair, and this could be my interview look. Ta da! So, this is my interview look for today. All right, I gotta go. I have to set up this computer and get ready. Wish me luck, guys. Thank you for anyone who watched this. And if you enjoyed this video, as well as any other videos you may have watched on my channels, please hit the like and subscribe button and have a blessed Monday. Bye.